Hey guys, and welcome back to Silent Hill 4. When we last left off, um, we actually got lost in Forest World. We did explore most of it, and we found some pretty weird things. We also beat a ghost to death, kind of. Not that you can beat a ghost to death. Anyway, we uh, found out why we were lost. We actually need the chocolate milk, which is stashed in here. Um, I hope it hasn't gone funny, but then I don't suppose he will care. Oh yeah, we found a new weapon as well, but I don't know about these weapons, man. I, like, I don't like the, the idea that they break. Kind of like takes the fun out of using them, uh, if I'm completely honest. But, you know, well, and the wine bottle as well. Like, why would you... Uh... can't imagine that being like useful at all um right so how do we there we go other items so and we got the nutrition drink as well oh that is actually a health item excellent and i do have a new um battery pack in my control pad and it doesn't disconnect anymore excellent right so let's grab the chocolate milk and let's go see our favorite retarded guy. Are you allowed to say retarded? Of course you are. It's my channel. I can say whatever I like. Okay. Now, let's go back and see him. Give him the chocolate milk. Ah, I mean, he's definitely all sixes and sevens. There's no doubt about that. So, I'm guessing he's going to give us the key. Oh, shit. I didn't check. See what Eileen was up to. Ah, it doesn't matter. Yeah, Bob. How do I, like, talk to you? Yeah, I know. There we go. Okay, that's a bit weird how we use items, but... Yeah, that's, like, just been in my cabinet for about six oh, weeks man, that was awesome. Here, oh take this there's something written on it you didn't just like have to throw it at me dude you could have just like passed it well uh, okay i mean i was expecting a key but sure a small spade with a bloody inscription. Will you take it? Yeah, we'll take it. The blood inscribed. The opposite where the lake and house meet. Inside the hand, holding onto the ground. Right, so yeah, we have to go uh, this way. Is that like... Is that something there? It's not. Yeah, uh, I guess. I guess that's... Alluding to the tree. I suppose we're about to find out. I mean, this trowel looks like it's seen some serious use over the years. So, I suppose it's got one more dig in it. Now, where was that tree? I know it's... I'm sure it's this that way somewhere. Is it written on the map? It's actually not written on the map. Uh... Hmm. Ah, there we go. Why do I get the feeling something bad's going to happen when we use this key? I don't know, but I'm feeling something not good's going to happen. Well, they got their microphone really close to that dirt, didn't they? That was crunchy. You got the rusty bloody key. The rusted and bloody key inscribed on it. The holder of this key will wander for eternity. Yeah, so, four shits and giggles. We don't want to go that way, do we? No. No. 
For shits and giggles, let's see what happens if we try to go back. I wonder if we, like, die or something. Or if the holes will seal up. That would be pretty cool. Oh, fuck. Actually, we can try going back here, I guess. Um, there we go. Enter the hole. Uh, it's just my camera a little bit as well. That way I can like chill out a bit more. There we go. Uh, no. No, we can still return just fine. Okay. So maybe you can always return here. So why? Hmm. Okay, well. Let's drop a save anyway. Probably don't need all these saves. I was going to say, I was just like filling up my Xbox hard drive, which would be impossible because I got one of them 500 gig ones. Uh, which I believe is the biggest hard drive they ever made for the Xbox 360. Let's check out Eileen before we go back. I thought... Yeah, we still got the key. How strange. I genuinely thought we wouldn't be able to have it. In this realm. Nah, she's not there. Okay. Alright, well, so back we go. I'm a little bit disappointed. I thought we would uh, be trapped or maybe we would get killed or something would happen. Uh, yeah, we're going to go in the hole. Henry, go down the hall. Need to take this control pad apart. A couple of the buttons are a little sticky. Oh yeah, they're torque screws, aren't they? Ah. No matter. Right, okay. Let's get the frick out of Dodge. And go back. Kind of curious, actually. I wonder... You always hear that roar here. Like, every time you go past the tree. Ooh. Well... That's different. Oh. I see what they mean. Okay. So how do we get back then? We can't go back through that door. I wonder if there's any other doors that have opened up. What happens if we try and go back? Okay, so we can go back, but we just... We can't go any further forward. Hmm. Can we do anything with this key? I have a brain. I have a brain idea. Maybe we have to go back, drop this off at our house, then go back through the other portal that's by the orphanage. Maybe? If they're gonna... I mean, that seems a little bit too easy, really. But I can't think of how else we would do it, unless something else has changed now. At least we've used up that chocolate drink that was, like, rotting and going moldy. I hope it wasn't too lumpy, but he didn't seem to care. I mean, he seemed to enjoy it. 
to be completely honest with you. Right, let's drop that back here. I hope it's not going to like horribly curse our house or anything. And then we should be able to go back. Yeah, we want to enter the hole. Why is it always on no as default? That's so irritating. I can't remember if Sighting Hill 2 and 3 did that. And Silent Hill 3, <coughs> weirdly enough, Silent Hill 3 was never on the original Xbox. Like, that's another thing that I always find, like, really strange. Like, why, why did they release Silent Hill 2, skip 3, and then release Silent Hill 4 on the original Xbox? That's really weird. Like, surely you would drop them all, or none of them. <sighs> but hey, what do I know? So I'm guessing this is going to work, and then we can go back through this hole. I mean, surely, surely it's not that easy. Surely. Because we haven't really had any puzzles in this game yet. Nothing that I would actually call a puzzle anyway. Which, it hasn't hurt it f in my opinion, but, uh, hmm. but then I didn't really think losing the puzzles from Resident Evil really hurt it either. Because they kind of, I don't know, they still had elements of, um, of the puzzles in the later games until obviously 7 and 2. But, yeah, it's just, I didn't even really think about that until the other day. Especially as um, a lot of the new puzzles they've added to Resident Evil 7, uh, well, <laughs> lack thereof, haven't really been up to the original puzzles. Like the original puzzles in the mansion and Resident Evil 2 and even Resident Evil 3 were great. Resident Evil 4 started to do away with the puzzles. But then, obviously, Resident Evil 4 turned into an entirely different game altogether. I mean, personally, I do like Resident Evil 4, but I think I've played it one too many times now. I don't think it's the greatest Resident Evil game, as a lot of people seem to say. Okay. Well, I mean, that was easy, I guess. My TV's just flashing up on the screen. Yeah, I found it. Saying, TV speaker's active. Which is fair enough. And we actually lose the key by using it there. What does? Are you still drinking that stuff? Or have you got more? Are you just trying to get the lumps out of the bottom? Let's not think about that. Let's just go. So, what have we got? Oh, shit. There's nothing in here. I wonder what's going on in here. Yeah, me too. Oh. He's in here now as well. You know, I really like the fact that we're encountering other people and they're kind of like following us around. It kind of makes the, the place feel more alive, if you know what I mean. It makes it feel like it's an actual proper another dimension. It's not just like your character's story. Like, because when you're always alone... It makes you wonder if you, if it's actually happening or if it's all in, in your character's head or something like that. Whereas I like to see other people trapped in the uh, other world as well. But then having said that, are these people real? I mean, Cynthia seemed like she was real. Because um, we actually saw her in the real world. But that doesn't mean anything in Silent Hill. Yeah, buddy. Uh, I wonder what they did here. Yeah, I guess just because we saw her. I mean, she could have been a hallucination, I suppose. What the hell? 
It's an oddly specific camera angle there, game. Oh, it's falling apart. I can't even read most of the pages. Here's a part I can read. <clears throat> the second sign, and God said, I offer the blood of, of the ten sinners and white oil. Be it then released from the bonds of the flesh and gain the power of heaven. From darkness and void, bring forth gloom and guard th uh, thyself with despair from the giver of wisdom. And the third sign, and God said, return to the source through the sin's temptation. Under the watchful eye of the demon, wanderer alone in the formless chaos, only then will the four atonements be aligned. Four atonements. Okay. Well, that's ominous. There's a shit ton of smoke coming from that door. There's a plate on the door. Remove the plate, yeah. Got the source placard. So I guess we need four of these. It shows a baby and says source. Are these telling a story? Like, baby is the source of the chaos? Temptation is the woman? Is I mean, I just thought it meant a woman is temptation, which is a little bit odd. But maybe it's alluding to a specific woman? Cynthia? Hmm. Maybe? Oh. Oh, fuck. What did you do? Did you try and drink the candle? <laughs> um. I finally met him. The one the nosy guy talked about. The devil. Yeah, you're like burning, dude. A special news report. In a forest near Silent Hill, <clears throat> the burned corpse of a 30-year-old male was discovered earlier today. The police have ruled it a homicide and are investigating. The number is 17121, were reportedly carved into the man's body. Due to the marks on the victim, the police are investigating possible links to the Walter Sullivan case 10 years ago. Wait a minute. Wait, wait, wait a minute. So... Cynthia was six. Hang on. Uh, sixteen. One. Twenty-one. So he. He was seventeen. One. Twenty-one. And then we found the coffin that was one 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 twenty one. So all of these people are related. But I thought. I thought it was 16 dash 21 or you know slash 17 slash 21 but the game's saying that's not a dash it's a one because hmm. otherwise that would mean 16 out of 21 17 out of 21 and the coffin would be um, 11 out of 21 over 21 hmm. 
So is that... I mean, that completely changes it, doesn't it? Like, is that a one or is it a dash? Hmm. I don't know. Either way, uh, the numbers are very similar. And they're counting... Well, they're counting up. Because we had 11, 16. Now 17. All right. And apparently a devil is going around killing everybody. What I do want to do though, guys, it seems a little bit counterproductive, is I noticed there were stairs going up... Up... Um, up... Stairs. And uh, I actually skipped those out because I went and saw uh, our friend burn to death. Don't know his name. So... Was the guy floating around in the graveyard the one from from the coffin? Hmm. I don't know. Um. Yeah. So I am. Oh fuck. I am actually gonna quickly load that and see if we can go upstairs in case there's like I don't know bullets or something up there. So I am gonna cut this video here. We're on 21 minutes anyway. Um, go do all that stuff again. I will record myself going upstairs. Uh, and then I'll cut it back to here. So, one second, guys. Right, guys. I'm a back quickly. Let's... It's a child's drawing. Yeah, well, obviously. Now, let's have a proper look in here because we didn't before. Now, can we go upstairs? So I did that for that. Well, okay. Right, all right then, guys. I will meet you uh, back. Nothing in here at all? Nothing? Oh, there's a scribbled note. Have you found Alyssa yet? How is Walter's progress coming along? Send me a report. Oh, Alyssa. Walter. Should those names sound familiar? Well, I mean, they don't. Anyway, guys, I'm going to meet you back in the future. And we're back to where we were, guys. So, yeah, on further inspection, watching um, our crazy friend burn to death again, it's definitely 17 slash 21. It's definitely that, I think. Well, I'll say definitely. I'm not 100% sure, but I think so. This is the superintendent. Are you in there, Henry? Help me. There's something wrong with this room. Yeah, slightly. Help. Let me out of here. Home? What's going on here? So he can't get in. I'm sure I heard something in there. Yeah. I found it's the same one as back then. Back when? He just gives up. Okay. Uh, well, let's go check on Eileen. See if she's doing anything else. Uh, 
Ah, she's laying on her bed. Right, okay, guys. Um, I guess I'm going to leave this recording, but I'm obviously going to speed this up because apparently you have to watch this for like 10 minutes or something. So I'll give it 10 minutes and see if anything interesting happens. Okay, guys, I've left this go for about seven years now, and uh, actually, how long have I left it? <laughs> Probably nearly half an hour. Uh, yeah, I've been watching like videos and stuff. Um, nothing's happened. However, I have looked it up. There's not a huge amount of information on it, but it looks like there's a couple of uh, her laying on the bed um, poses. <clears throat> also, remember when I said I think that Teddy might do something eventually? Yes, apparently there is a certain scene that you look at, uh, I think when Eileen's not actually there, if you keep staring at it for a while, the teddy does do something, so we're going to investigate that anyway. So, we've left Forest World, do we have anything new in the fridge? No, okay, so I guess the fridge doesn't get re- uh, Refilled. Uh, so yeah, we've. I mean, not really sure. That's not on the radio. Ah, can we look outside? I mean, we can, but there's not seemingly an awful lot going on. Outside looks like business as usual. This is quite a horrific uh, concept, if you think about it, being trapped in this room. I mean, you can still see everything else is going on absolutely fine. It's just we can't do anything. Don't go out, Walter. But... Ah, we're not... Right, okay. A penny's just dropped. I have been scribbling down some notes as we've been playing. Um... Don't go out Walter. Now, they've mentioned Walter Sullivan a couple of times. Walter Sullivan was the serial killer that was briefly mentioned in Silent Hill 2. Yeah. So... Was Walter the previous owner of this apartment? Fuck if I know. Um, let's go. I mean, I suppose we can try going back into Silent Hill and seeing what happens. Uh, although we probably... Actually, to be honest, guys, we're probably on half an hour. So I'm going to save it. And this, this video is going to require a bit of editing. So I don't know exactly how long this one is. Uh, but I'm going to go save it anyway. And uh, when we come back, we're going to continue. So that's return to the return from the forest. We're going to dump it down there. All right. So we're on fifteen saves. I don't know if saves like counted against you in the rank. I'm not really sure. But anyway, I'm going to leave it there. So thank you very much for watching, guys. And as always, till next time.